The current crisis is affecting the life of everybody. In particular, what is happening is that we are forced to be more autonomous from an energy point of view. So what we think is that even if there are some uh, uh, slowdown of the activities, at the same time, there's a lot, there are a lot of efforts to become more and more autonomous from uh, an energy point of view. This means more innovation, more local grids, more attention to the use of energy. And this, in the middle term, will bring to be more autonomous, more renewable, more green. Another consequence of the current crisis is the attention that each of us must give to the food security. We need to find more food for everybody. We need to find more inputs. We need to find more agricultural products. So there's a very strong attention now to be more autonomous from a food point of view. And this will bring also in this case, more innovation, new ways of preparing, producing food. So I'm sure that the crisis will bring us five years ahead in terms of food autonomy. In the current period, food companies should be always keen on sustainability because now there is the tendency to say, okay, because of the crisis due to COVID, due to the Ukraine war, maybe other issues are important, maybe food security is important, but not the issue of sustainable development. This is completely wrong. Why? Because climate change does not wait for us. Climate change is hitting our societies, our economies, our environment, and also regulators and consumers, as soon as the crisis will be over, will be asking for sustainable food, sustainable products. So we cannot lose time. We cannot lose ground. Companies need to learn the grammar for sustainability. They need to be in line with the issues, the principles and the tools of social environmental sustainability. If they don't do that, they will lose opportunities. So we are really strong on that. Companies need to work on these issues. Thank you.